Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to learn about custom dialogues, which I would say are most activity-like. And while I kind of joke there, uh, they are more like sort of standard activities than any other kind of dialogue, right? And let's see, let's see why. All right, so to create our own custom dialogue, um, honestly, it, it very much does feel like an activity uh, without the overhead, just because of the amount of customization that you can do. Um, in fact, if you think back to Linear Lights Out, uh, when we did the menu version, uh, we had an, an, an about box that we did, and we gave it a dialogue theme. Uh, so it's going to be very similar to that, only um, you know, because it doesn't have all the overhead, it, it is going to pop up faster. Um, and, it, and it really is the right thing to use right, for, for, um, you know, for that type of a situation. Right. Now the one thing is is that you still need to define what the layout's going to be, right? That's what makes it custom is that you can give it whatever layout uh, you want. So um, how are we going to do that? Uh, in fact, I'm I'm going to have you do this here. Uh, so would you take a few minutes and and go ahead and make the the layout for our custom dialog, right? So we've we've seen this a few different times. So this is going to have some kind of a text view up at the top. Uh, then we'll have an image view right here with um, with with this you know the sort of old Rose Holman logo here the fight engineers, and then a button down here uh, to click when when we're done right and all those guys as you can see up here are just going to be inside a linear layout. Uh, you will want to add uh, an ID for at least the done button so that we can create a listener for it right. So um, nothing too special. Just take a couple minutes and and do that and I'll get caught up with you. All right, so I finished mine here. Uh, hopefully you did too. Um, so this is, I, I named it dialogue underscore rose um, to have a standard naming convention. Uh, and it has everything that, that, that was, um, that would want there, linear layout with a text view, image view, and a button. Uh, and we can see the graphically, it, it looks pretty much like, like what we had. A little, little bit different in formatting uh, because of the theme that I have, but, but no big deal. Uh, okay. So let's let's go ahead and write some code for this. Uh, we will, what we want to do is respond to the done button, All right? Um, so back inside hello dialogues. All right, I'm gonna shoot down all the way to uh, to show rose dialog. All right, so the type of things that that we're gonna do in here uh, again are gonna feel very familiar, All right? So I'm gonna declare a dialog fragment, and so it's a new. Class, it's going to be one that that um, that extends dialog fragment here, and I want to show it. And I'll get my fragment manager, and then the tag. Uh, let's see. Probably can put a tag in here. I haven't been doing this, but there's there's certainly no no harm in in putting a tag. Uh, could be a good thing. All right, so let's let's go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, all right, so we want to override on create dialogue right so um, so good so far right just like just like any other dialogue uh, in fact it's going to continue to be very much like other dialogue so so let's go ahead and make a, a an alert dialogue builder and passing in the activity as a, as a context all right, and then we will return builder dot create the factory method. Um, so what do, what do we need to do? Uh, so we're gonna have to do what's what's called an inflating the view here, right? As you know, whenever we have something like on create, uh, we have to set the content view, and we you know we pass in a, a resource. So so similar thing here. We need to connect our layout with uh, with the with the actual dialog that it's a part of. The way that we do this is, is a little bit different uh, for this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and get a layout inflator. All right, so I'll say layout inflator, inflator, um, and that's from the activity. There's gonna be a method here to, to get the layout inflator. inflator. Um, and we'll go ahead and, and import uh, view in inflated, inflator. Um, then we're gonna have to, to, um, to grab the view um, from it, right? So we could we could do something like builder dot set view, right? And there uh, we could we could inflate this guy. So inflator dot inflate, and inflate as we see returns the view, right? So um, what resource do we want? Well, this is just simply our r dot layout dot dialog rows. 
Uh, the root here, um, since it's just going in the dialog, this uh, this is um, the, the view group. Typically, we can get away with, with just using uh, null here. It's going to work out just fine. All right. um, and that's really the only new thing. All right. So uh, that's going to show our view. If we were to run it right now, um, we'd, we'd see what happens. All right, just to show you in my, in my dialog here, um, so I have fighting engineers, and I have a done button that, that doesn't work. Right? Um, all right, no surprises. Uh, now, clearly, there was no reason in this simple app that we had to put the done button as part of our custom layout. Right? We could have had a, a typical dialog buttons down here, set positive button, and so on. Um, but I just want to show you how this works. Uh, so what do we need to do? We need to capture the button. So let's go ahead and do that, sort of standard. So button is equal to uh, button find view by ID, r dot ID dot, and then that was that was called done button. All right, um, so we have our button, and let's go ahead and set an on click listener for it, and we can create a, an anonymous one right here. Very, very simple, right? So all this guy is going to do is dismiss the, the enclosing fragment. All right, we run it, Rose dialog, and we click it, and all of a sudden we, we get an error here. So, so it crashes on us, and clearly that, that was a pretty hard crash. Uh, let's take a look to see what, what we have going on. Uh, so our log cat, if I pop this guy open, uh, we can see right at the top here is that we are getting a null pointer exception, right? Fatal error. Uh, fairly common if we're not careful. Uh, let's let's take a look to see what this what this says here. It says that the error was on line 143, right? So so let's let's take a look then. Line 143 is is this guy right here. Now a null pointer exception, of course, you you know uh, occurs whenever you're calling a method, right? On on something that's null, right? So for some reason, uh, it didn't get the button here, all right? Now let's let's think about this. So so find view by id r dot id dot done button. Um, so what is the, the implicit parameter for find view by ID, right? Um, you know, I, I could just as easily write this dot find view by ID, right? Um, but wait a minute. Hmm. So this, uh, this guy right here, what view is it, right? I mean, the, uh, the dialog here hasn't really had the, the, the view connected. Um, kind, of, kind of an issue. Uh, it's kind of, I believe, looking for this in the activity itself. Uh, so what people will will do uh, to make this work, and if you think about it, it's gonna it's gonna make sense here. They're they're gonna actually take the view that they've inflated, and call find by find view by ID on that view, right? Because it's part of this part of this dialog, not part of the whole activity. Uh, so what I will do is I will take this um, the parameter here, and I'll save it in another in another local variable. So, so view, view is the result of the inflator, and then I'll set view um, to view. The reason I made it a local variable is that now, when I find view by ID, I can say view dot find view by ID, right? And that's gonna look at look within uh, the hierarchy that, um, that was created um, by that view itself. All right, pull it back in here, rows dialog, and hey, there we go. No more null pointer exception, right? So, uh, so we've got this guy. Let's check if I click done, it should dismiss, which it does. Uh, perfect, All right? So, um, so good stuff there. Let's catch our slides back up. All right. So there was the the XML for reference. Nothing special there. Um, the custom dialog, and again, just just to to highlight here once again, um, is that we you know the the button itself isn't found within the activity. Um, it's found within this rows dialog, right? So, um, so when we inflate the view, we save it, and then we go ahead and and call that guy, um, that guy's find view by ID method, right? It works out fine. And again, of course, if if you forget it, uh, it'll be pretty obvious because you know it's going to give you a null pointer exception, right? Very good. We will see you next time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the custom dialogs.